again, another facet of, of trust, right? If you don't trust someone and your relationship with them is command and control, then essentially you are the one, they, they, they can't own it really because you're the one just telling them what to do. So they're now just executing what you told them. Right. So what is the level of ownership and accountability do you expect from them if they had nothing to say and no way to impact, um, you know, how they go about doing their work? I think a lot of times it's it's being a role model and, and charting the direction and giving the, the North Star for people that are working with you. Um, it's not about making decisions for them. Sometimes that's part of your role, but it's definitely not what, uh, uh, what the goal is, right? So if you can, you know, empower your team, but to get to make the right decisions, you need to give them the direction. They need to understand the why. They need to understand, you know, what are we trying to achieve? Why are we doing things in a certain way? And, and just give them that direction um, and um, help, them, help them get there. Uh, I think in many cases, that's what leadership is about. Many values could be very powerful. Um, we chose to call them operating principles because we wanted to make sure that they're very grounded in decision-making, right? So the difference between saying that we're, you know, a customer-centric company and saying that our operating principle is to create raving fans is that one is very high level and could be interpreted in a lot of different ways versus the other is, you know, it's it's a very specific thing that we want to achieve. And I think it's much more concrete and it really helps people decide, you know, how they're going to take the next step.